comes forward. Okay. So all, uh, those all in favor? <coughs> okay. Objections? Extensions? Okay, thank you. Um, the REMAC bylaws are being reviewed and will be revised over the summer. Uh, the current membership will be uh, remaining unchanged and when the new bylaws are created, the membership committee will review them um, and recommend new members and uh, changing of members who don't come to meetings, as Dr. Langsam mentioned earlier. Um, the following protocol motions were approved. Uh, the first one was language to add wherever vasopressors are present in our protocols, um, push dose epinephrine. Uh, the, the wording is as follows, administer epinephrine 10 micrograms IV push, repeat epinephrine 10 micrograms IV push every 15 minutes, max every 5 minutes, I'm sorry, max dose is uh, 15 micrograms. Um, titrate to a systolic blood pressure greater than 90 millimeters Hg. Um, and that has to be a 30 day comment period before being submitted to CMAC in the fall. Uh, the second motion that uh, was approved was a NYPD ESU uh, tactical protocol. This is only to be used during primary law enforcement activities where EMS activities are necessary. Um, there was a large discussion, but in the end those were approved as well. And those also have a 30-day comment period prior to CMAC. Uh, CFR protocols, uh, which were previously revised, uh, were approved, and that will go to the September 20, uh, 2018 CMAC meeting. Uh, all of these protocols, if approved at CMAC, will go into effect in January of 2019. Um, we are currently looking at possible collaborative protocols between New York City, Nassau, and, Rima, and uh, Suffolk. Um, these would be, we would adopt the collaborative protocols, but we would not join the collaborative so that we could use those protocols uh, as the basis of the, the collaborative protocols. However, we would not join the collaborative and therefore have to go through the collaborative um, for any kind of protocol changes. These are currently in a very infant stage. They have not gone beyond initial discussions. Um, the community paramedicine tag has begun to meet again, and any members are welcome, and the next meeting will be on September 4th of 2018. Any questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> thank you. Mr. Okay, Chairman. thank you. Uh, quality improvement committee report? I did that one too. Yeah, that's what you mean. No, we didn't meet. What do you mean? Right? Oh, there was an executive session <coughs> to discuss a case, uh, but other than that, there was no uh, informative uh, or no information to be relayed to this committee. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Steve Mias Council? Okay, so the CENSCO and the CMAC met May 15th and 16th. I'll just give you the highlights of the meeting. Uh, the new director, Ryan Greenberg, was introduced. He spoke about his activities and his goals. The New York City Protocol for Stroke carried unanimously. There was an extremely extensive discussion regarding the new New York State BLS protocols. There's like 25 points that they went over. I won't bore you with, um, but it is intended that it will be brought back possibly for approval for September. And if you have any interest in what the state is going to require as their protocol, which is what the test is about, and so on, it probably behooves you to find out what this is all about um, and make comments. Now is the time, or forever hold your peace. Um, there was an update to the AEMT collaborative protocol, which is not really of interest to us. What is an interest was a discussion that was held as whether once the collaborative committee approves the protocol, does it have to or should it go back to the individual REMAX of the different regions to approve? And the sense was no, that everyone on the collaborative protocol has one vote, the committee, and therefore the REMAX have essentially given up their, I guess, protocol writing ability. Um, that should, we should keep that in mind if people are thinking about joining collaborative protocols, whether we're ready to give up all of our voices 
as, but as Dr. Shanker said, we're not talking right now about joining that club. We're just talking about using it as a basis. Yes. So just so everybody is clear and for the record, um, at the REMAC meeting, it was very clear that there was no interest in joining the collaborative, but rather to adopt the collaborative protocols, which can be done without joining the collaborative. Meaning, you can use those as the basis of your protocol. If you want to make a change, your protocol committee can do it, send it to CMAC through the normal process that exists today uh, without joining the collaborative. Because if we were to join the collaborative, we'd be one vote um, amongst the rest of the regions um, in protocol development. And the committee felt that that was not sufficient. Thank you. Correct. Um, the Systems Committee met. There were no appeals uh, with statutory matters at this past meeting, but they anticipate that there will be one or two of them coming up this coming meeting. There was at SEMSCO an election of new officers. A whole bunch of protocols were approved, and that is pretty much it. Next meeting is in September. Any questions? Okay. Uh, unfinished business? Any new business? There was a mention of a committee looking at REMAC um, bylaws. The bylaws that I have, the copy that I have is from 1993, and it talks about 30 members. Uh, can we get a current copy of the REMSCO bylaws? REMSCO bylaws or the REMAC Re bylaws? REMSCO. I'm looking for REMSCO. Okay. The bylaws committee is that they were yeah. talking about was for REMAC. For REMAC, yeah. But I'm looking for REMSCO bylaws. Again, the copy that I have is from 93. Right. Okay. Just in closing, I just wanted to say a thanks uh, to Dr. Krupe for actually acting as the chair oh, for this past couple of years for with us. You know, thank you for your assistance and support. Yeah. It was a pleasure and honor. Okay, I thank everyone for helping support. The uh, special thanks, Marie and Nancy. Again, a shout out to my women, Dr. Langsdorff. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank you for your vote of confidence once again. If, if I'm not we'll mistaken, there, the meetings interesting. there are other outgoing members as well, since we did add new ones. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. We might want to make mention of. Um, Michael Vatch is an outgoing yeah, member. He wants to know who's outgoing. Call I Jerry don't have Howard. That's right. Jerry? You're Jerry. I sent you a note, right? Just tell me I have. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much for your service. You got to thank you for your service, too. Yeah. All right, so is that Jerry, Dr. Krupe, and Michael Vash? Yes. Yes. So Michael we Vach should thank you guys well. for your service. Yeah. All right. Motion to yeah. adjourn. So adjourn. Okay. Okay. Please join the festivities. Yeah. Go. Go. Turn the video off.